Thank you for choosing the ROM machine, the four-minute workout for the new understanding of the human body. Please watch the following instructional video for the proper use of the range of motion ROM machine. The ROM machine is a functional work of art, a bold design of industrial steel and gleaming chrome, precision engineered to deliver a complete workout in exactly four minutes per day. The machine adapts to the user's strength and flexibility. You control the intensity and range of motion of the exercises. The better shape you're in, the more the machine will challenge you. While the ROM routines are low impact, optimum results come from pushing yourself as hard as you can for the full four minutes. Consult your doctor before beginning any strenuous exercise program. Upon taking delivery of your ROM, place the machine on the mat provided with the rear tubing at least 12 inches from the edge of the mat. This ensures that the pedals and your shoes impact only the mat, not your floor. To power the computer, attach the provided AC cord to the side of the ROM machine and plug it in. The power switch is located on the underside of the computer. Set the computer to LO1 for the lower body workout or UP1 for the upper body workout. The time automatically defaults to four minutes. The seat height adjustment is found behind the backrest. Locate your height and place the handle in the appropriate slot. There are four possible settings ranging from under 5 foot 7 to over 6 foot 2 inches tall. For example, if you are 5 foot 10 inches tall, you would place the handle in the 5 foot 7 to 5 foot 11 slot. The resistance is set based upon the user's body weight. Using the black general weight scale on the flywheel, find your weight and move the slide so that level one is at or slightly above your weight. If you are significantly overweight, you may align the scale with your target or ideal weight. For example, if your weight is 150 pounds, you would line up the slide level with 150 on the black general scale. Release the slide by pushing down lightly on its center, then adjusting either left or right. The resistance is generated by the centrifugal brake. The more to the left the slide is positioned, the greater the resistance and the harder the workout. Next, the foot rests need to be adjusted to the length of your legs. This is done by removing the selection pin from the foot rest and lining up the hole in the foot rest with the holes on the frame and replacing the pin. When correctly set, your thighs should be parallel with the floor. The upper body workout is performed from the front seat of the ROM machine. This exercise works primarily the arms, chest, and abdominal muscles. Here's how this exercise should look when properly performed. Take a break. Let's look at the upper body workout in detail. Climb onto the ROM by backing up to the machine and swinging one leg over the seat. Slide forward until you can comfortably grab the bars close to the ends of the hand grips. Now push yourself back using only your leg muscles until you're firmly against the backrest. This is the position that supports your back throughout the workout. Pull the bars toward you, opening them up in a small V just before they reach your chest and continue to pull until you hit the backstop. Immediately begin pushing forward, squeezing the bars into a reverse V motion. Once your arms are fully extended, lock your elbows, tighten your stomach and push with your abs. What may look like an ordinary rowing motion is actually much more complex. In the push stroke, once your hands are pressed together in front of your chest, you are performing a narrow grip bench press. At this point, you are in a reclining position, using your back as an anchor while pushing the bars forward with your arms. 
Once your arms are fully extended in front of you, you transition to the crunch portion of the push stroke. Tighten your stomach and try to push as far forward as you can, hitting the front stop if possible. Don't allow the bars to separate and open during the push stroke. Make sure you force the bars together and not just hold them. This focuses on the triceps and pecs while keeping your knees together will stretch the hamstrings. Don't allow the bars to passively pull you forward, actively push them. Remember, maximum results come from maximum effort. Some things not to do. When first getting on the seat, do not just bend forward, grab the bars and pull them toward you. Use your legs to push your body back. Do not lift yourself out of the seat on the pull stroke. Keep your butt down. Do not let the bars coast during the push stroke. Push. Keep the current pace number on the computer from falling during the crunch portion. Do not leave the backrest too soon. Wait until you've completed the bench press before leaning forward into the crunch. Don't jerk on the bars during the pull stroke. Try to keep your movements smooth and fluid. The rear station of the ROM machine works out the entire lower body, legs, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and hip flexors. Watch as this workout is correctly performed by people of all shapes, sizes, and different levels of fitness. Let's look at the lower body workout in greater detail. First, manually align the pedals so they're at the same level. Stop the flywheel with the foot brake to make it easier to step up. Grasp the rear grips of the machine for support, then step quickly onto the pedals. Take small steps at first to bring the flywheel up to speed, then work up to taking the deepest steps you can. The goal is to achieve the deepest range of motion that you are capable of. If at first you can't go all the way to the floor, take smaller steps. Try to use your arms only for balance. Make sure your legs do the work. Where you place your hands during the lower body workout determines which muscle groups are being targeted. Hands all the way to the rear of the grips and standing up straight targets your quads and glutes. Hands in the middle of the grips produces a more all-around leg toning. Hands at the very front of the grips and leaning way forward focuses on the hamstrings and the backs of the legs. In this position, you need to support yourself with your arms to get the proper posture. To dismount, remove one foot from the pedal and ride the other pedal to the floor. Some more things not to do. Do not take smaller steps than you are capable of. The goal here is to achieve your full range of motion. Try not to support your body with your arms unless you absolutely need to. This is a leg exercise and your arms should be used for balance only. Try not to bottom out and get stuck. Keep your stepping motion fluid and uh, don't get stuck. The heart of the ROM is its adaptive resistance mechanism, the 85-pound flywheel and the centrifugal brake. This is what makes the four-minute workout unique. The ROM machine's resistance is controlled by the centrifugal brake. At slower speeds, the brake barely presses against the braking surface, allowing less physically fit users to get a full four-minute workout. 
As you spin the flywheel faster, centrifugal force throws the brake out against the round drum, creating friction. The stronger you are, the faster you spin the flywheel, the more resistance you generate, making the workout harder. The easiest way to understand the slide is to think of it as a weight. When you move the slide to the left, you are moving it closer to the brake pad, making the workout more muscular or more weight, less reps. When you move the slide to the right, you are moving it farther from the brake, making the workout more aerobic, the equivalent of less weight, more reps. The percentage score is displayed at the end of the workout in the bottom window. This number represents a person's stamina or endurance score. The top window displays the highest RPM recorded during the workout. This number can be thought of as your strength score. While doing the upper body workout, try to keep the numbers in the current pace window as stable as possible. A fluctuation of more than two, such as 76 and 73, indicates that your push is not as intense as your pull motion. Concentrate on tightening your abdominal muscles while pushing forward to keep your current pace number constant. When starting out your ROM exercise program, use the UP1 and L01 settings on the computer and the general weight scale on the flywheel. To find your optimal beginning settings, do the following. Set the flywheel resistance to your body weight, level one, on the general scale. Perform the full four minute upper or lower body workout using the maximum effort throughout the exercise. If your score is below 100%, decrease the resistance. If you exceed 115% consistently, then you may begin incrementally increasing your fitness level number on the flywheel slide. Scores in the 115 to 120 range indicate a good blend between muscular and aerobic activity. Please be aware that stronger individuals will always be capable of exceeding these scores. There are three levels of ROM exercise settings, aerobic, general, and muscular. For the most complete all-around workout, use the general UP1 and L01 settings on the computer, along with the general weight scale on the flywheel. For a more aerobic workout, use the UP2 and L02 settings on the computer, along with the aerobic weight scale on the flywheel. And for a more muscular workout, use the UP3 and L03 settings on the computer, along with the muscular weight settings on the flywheel. The best way to measure your progress with the ROM program is to benchmark your level of fitness before beginning your four minute workouts. The following are standard suggestions. Feel free to substitute your own activities. Just be sure to document your results, then check them again after a month of working out on the ROM. How many sit-ups can you do in one minute? How many push-ups can you perform? How many pull-ups or chin-ups can you do? How many miles can you run now? How many stairs can you climb? Try your tests again after a month or so of consistently working out on the ROM. The reason people fail at an exercise program is because typical workouts take too long and we go into them with unrealistic expectations. Physical changes always are slower than we want. After starting the ROM regimen, you may notice that you have actually gained weight. This is muscle gain. Keep in mind, muscle weighs more than twice as much as fat. In some cases, men will notice their pants feel a little snugger at the waist. Again, this is evidence of muscle building under the spare tire and temporarily pushing it out a bit. Remember, muscles develop faster than fat burns. Have patience and over time you will lose inches. <laughs>